Good morning, everyone. I'm Ricky. Welcome to News Round this Saturday. Let's start with Comic Relief. Were you wearing your red noses last night? Well, the charity fundraiser had loads of famous faces popping into the studio. Last night's show raised more than £40 million towards tackling poverty in the UK and around the world. Sir Lenny Henry, one of the first ever presenters for Comic Relief, hosted his last show. And did you see the gladiators take over a PE lesson? If you missed it, take a look. So we have got some special guests to help us. St. Greg, say hello to the gladiators. <laughs> Comic Relief has sent us because they think you're amazing for all the wonderful fundraising you've been doing. Do you think you can take us on? Loud enough. I can't hear you. Do you think you can take us? Yeah. My eyes are on you. Go. 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 You got me there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, take that, Bionic. Next is the big climax of the Six Nations Rugby Tournament later. A win or a draw against Scotland will mean that Ireland are champions for the second time in a row. But a loss could mean that one of Scotland, England or France could yet sneak in if they smash it in their games. The next Welsh Labour leader, who will become the first Minister of Wales, will be announced later. Current politicians Jeremy Miles or Vaughan Gething are competing for the job. Now, the last first minister, Mark Drakeford, announced he was leaving the job last December after five years in the role. The First Minister leads the government at the Welsh Parliament in Cardiff. OK, now it's been another busy week of news, so time to catch up with what you need to know. First up this week, it seemed like everyone was talking about the Princess of Wales and this photograph, which was released by Kensington Palace on Mother's Day. A number of media agencies stopped sharing the photo because of concerns the image had been digitally edited or changed. Princess Catherine said she had been experimenting with editing and has said sorry for any confusion the picture caused. It came at a time when many people had been speculating about the princess's well-being. She hasn't been seen in public for over two months whilst recovering from abdominal surgery. Next, poo, slime and fizz, it can only mean one thing. It's British Science Week. It's a chance to celebrate science, technology, mathematics and engineering. Get yourselves straight on the Newsrun website to find answers to some of your big questions all about science. And finally, we spoke to two of the winners from the BBC's 500 Words Writing Competition. Here's what they had to say about their experience at the special ceremony at Buckingham Palace. There was loads of things in it, and then I got to meet Alicia here. From Matilda? Yeah. My favourite bit was when the Queen put the medal around my neck and tapped my shoulders so my brother said I'm now a knight. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, well done, Evan and Clara. That's all for now. You're officially in the know. Thank you for that, Nina. And the British Gymnastics Championships are taking place this weekend and three young gymnasts from the same club in Lincoln have qualified to take part. So let's meet them. Hi, I'm Nelly. I'm 11 years old and I'm from Lincoln. I've just done the English Championships and in a few weeks' time that I've got the British Championships, which is quite big for me. Yeah, it's just exciting. Fast. Hi, I'm Jojo, I'm 13 and I'm from Lincoln. It feels like you're flying 
and you just feel so much better. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm 13 and I'm from Lincoln. You just get to do flips and, like, amazing how fun it is. It's satisfying to know all the hours of hard work that they've put in actually uh, comes to fruition. And we've got three qualified this year and uh, hopefully we can keep that going. That's a lot of turns, isn't it? That's it from me and the team today. Remember, there's plenty more over on our website, including some news videos and quizzes. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.